Bro, getting high at school is the worst thing ever. First you're chilling, second you're at the nurse's office, hella fucked up. If you get anxiety after smoking, then do not, and I repeat, do not smoke at school. There's a story that still gets me like, ugh, to this day. And that's the story where I got too high at school. This story takes place in 11th grade in Mr. Gromis' class. This is a science class and I was not a good student. Mr. Gromis, I've been with him ever since freshman year because I wasn't good at science. So they made me take his class over the years until I passed. Which fucking sucked because he was just a tall goofy dude who was so awkward all the damn time. He was nice to me but still awkward. But for some reason that year when I got too high, he didn't really care if I passed the class or not. He seemed depressed for some reason. But this isn't about him. It's about me getting fucked up on weed. So it all started in his classroom. Every time when we get to his class, we always have to pick up a little computer by his desk. We all pick it up and get to work. Normal day, guys. Normal day. Do you guys remember Charlie? Well, he was in this class as well. I remember talking to Charlie across the room. Hey, Charlie, you know the answers to these questions? The fuck I look like? Jeffrey Dahmer? What? That has nothing to do with the fuck I just said. No, I'm not giving you the answers. Please, bro. I don't want to fail. My dad's gonna whip my ass if you don't help me. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it in. I hope you get fucking STDs or some shit. And I went back to my computer work. I heard people from behind me talking about a weed pen that they had. I turned around and said if I could take a little hit. They looked at me hella confused and gave me their pen. I told myself, yes, if I smoke this, I can get some more and do my test. That means I'll pass the class and I won't have to see Mr. Gromas anymore. They told me to go in my backpack and smoke it and I did just that. But the thing is, how the fuck am I going to close it in time? Obviously, Mr. Grum is going to catch me. But remember, fucking mode. I went inside my backpack and took one of the biggest hits in my life. Possibly five or eight blinkers. I don't fucking know. When I blew out, I just... <coughs> and the smoke went everywhere. I was coughing like crazy. While I was almost choking to my death, I looked at Charlie and smiled while coughing. I'm pretty sure he looked at me like a psycho. I legit couldn't breathe. You know that feeling when you swallow your own saliva and you start coughing? You try to get your breath, but it just makes you cough and burp at the same time, almost making you throw up? Well, I had that during that moment. And after that, Mr. Grummas didn't even know I smoked. It's weird because smoke literally went everywhere. I think he just didn't care anymore. I stood there just waiting for my death. I raised up my hand, I told Mr. Grummas if I can go to the bathroom, and he fucking let me. I go to walk out, and everything seemed so bright. It was so bright, I had to stay in the shade and adjust my eyes for a little bit. I went to the restroom and was freaking out so bad. That walking back and forth and shit. I kept tripping, I was literally seeing shit. Time was so slow for me, and I thought I was in the bathroom for fucking hours, but really? It's only been two minutes. Everything seemed so unreal, waving my hands made more hands fading away and shit. You ever get like that? The thing that really freaked me out was the way everything felt. I was touching the walls, the floors, my fucking clothes, and it felt so magical. Pretty sure somebody was watching me and thought I was a crackhead. I went back to my class while everything in my vision was blurry. I actually went through the whole school day like that. It felt like everyone was watching me and I was literally playing all eyes on me by Tupac. And I went back home and went back to normal. But after that, it felt like I had a little ball stuck in my throat. I couldn't eat right, I couldn't breathe right, or swallow right. It felt weird and kind of regretted taking a really big hit off that pen. Moral of the story, people, do not smoke in school. It's not fun. At least not for me. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace. Peace.